All right, this is my script to uh, set up Kiwix server. So you know what Kiwix is? is basically a offline Wikipedia viewer. So, um, you know, you don't have to go online or anything that you can just use it offline. And I talked about this last time, but uh, the script will set up real quick here. So what we got in here? Uh, we do have the script here. We have the systemd service and also a sample file of the wikis uh, when you set it up how it looks like. So um, first thing you want to do is chmod x and we're going to do that install script here. So it should look green and we have to do sudo install keywix here. All right. So it's going to install some dependencies like uh, core utils, aux, sed, stuff like that. And also, since Kiwix is not in your uh, official repositories, we're going to have to download it from, um, what is that, the official website of the Kiwix project. So we'll wait for that to finish here. And this one should automatically detect your um, different distribution with, you know, whatever their package manager is. And it should automatically install it. Anyways, um, right now it's installing the Kiwix package here manually. So we'll wait for it to finish. And we have to create a uh, folder for it. So here we go. We can create a uh, directory uh, where you want to save it. Make sure you want to save it outside of your home folder. So when I use uh, media here and data, Kiwix. Right, and that's pretty much it on how you would set it up. Uh, it's going to copy over the uh, sample uh, zip files, you know, the one that um, I have in here. This one's, I think, it's like two megabytes or something like that, or under five, I don't remember what it was, but um, your uh, server is going to be hosted at this IP address. So you can open any, um, you know, web browser in your house and log into that. Um, was that uh, URL? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, 192.168.98, and the port is 49849. And this is what it looks like here. So right now we only have like one uh, zip file, but if you have like multiples, uh, it will load up you know everything here, and then you select the uh, wikis that you want to view offline. So right now this is our sample of Ray Charles here. And basically, uh, it's kind of like a, you know, wiki, right? Uh, Wikipedia that you can look at. And this is uh, what you can do offline, right? Uh, if you want to get more, like I said, explain on the other video, um, you know, they have a bunch of them here. And different um, languages also. So if you're one of those person that wants to be offline, off-grid, uh, this is a good way to uh, do it and get some information locally instead of um, being connected to the internet every time, right? Anyways, they have a lot in here. They do have Linux, they have um, books, they have history, physics, you name it, it should be in here. There's other sites for the, for these type of zip files too, but uh, this one's like the, the main one that they have here. And some of them are like, you know, two gigs, five gigs. Uh, some of them are just maybe in megabytes. So it's up to you, whatever you want to choose, and depending on the languages also. Anywho, uh, that's how you download, you know, newer stuff if you want. And all you got to do is uh, that folder that we created, this folder here. What was that one? Media, uh, data, keywix. Spell it right. Right, so right now we only have one uh, file in there. But if you have multiple files, uh, just put them in the same folder and then restart your uh, system D service, which is what's that system CTL restart. And we're going to restart. What was that one called? Keywix. If I spell it right, Keywix service or Keywix uh, dash serve dot service here. And uh, it will load up the newer ones uh, when you do that. Anywho, that's how you set up really quick. Um, if you want an offline Wikipedia experience, um, you know, that'll be it for this one.